When we think of boosting a country's economy, we usually picture businessmen, bankers, or even powerful corporations. But what if I told you that in North Korea, it's not the elites in suits driving the economy, it's hackers. There's an elite group known as the Lazarus Group, and their mission is not just cyber attacks, but keeping the North Korean regime alive through the dark web. This is how the dark web is funding North Korea. North Korea has been isolated from the global economy for decades. The main reason, its pursuit of nuclear weapons and missile programs. International sanctions were imposed to pressure the regime regime into giving up its nuclear ambitions. These sanctions have cut North Korea off from trade, foreign investments, and access to the global financial system. Without these traditional economic channels, the country faces extreme shortages and financial difficulties. But instead of backing down, North Korea has found ways around these restrictions, using cybercrime and the dark web to fund its activities. The Lazarus Group is an elite hacking organization backed by the North Korean government. It's part of a larger network of cyber units designed specifically to bypass sanctions and bring money into the country. This group was formed under the regime's direct orders with highly skilled hackers trained by the government. Their mission, to launch cyber attacks that steal millions from banks, crypto currency exchanges, and businesses worldwide. They've even been linked to ransomware attacks and large-scale data breaches, all with the goal of funding North Korea's regime. So, how exactly does the Lazarus Group operate? Their methods are both sophisticated and ruthless. They use a combination of hacking, social engineering, and malware to carry out their attacks. For example, they often create fake websites or send phishing emails to trick unsuspecting users into giving away sensitive information. Information. Once they gain access, they can steal money or data with ease. But where do they go to spend this stolen wealth? That's where the dark web comes in. Think of the dark web as an underground marketplace hidden from regular internet users. It's not indexed by search engines, so it offers a layer of anonymity for those engaged in illegal activities. To access it, hackers use special software like Tor, which masks their identities. Within this hidden network, the Lazarus Group can easily launder their stolen funds and sell sensitive data without fear of being caught. They trade stolen credit card information, hacking tools, and even illegal goods, all while keeping their tracks covered. This dark and dangerous marketplace provides the perfect cover for their operations, allowing them to continue funding the North Korean regime despite international efforts to shut them down. Over the years, the Lazarus Group has been involved in several notorious operations that showcase their capabilities and impact. One of the most infamous incidents is the 2014 Sony Pictures hack. In retaliation for the film The Interview, which mocked North Korea, the group breached Sony's servers, leaking sensitive data and unreleased films. This attack not only caused significant financial damage, but also sent a clear message about the lengths the regime would go to protect its image. Another major operation was the 2016 Bangladesh bank heist. Using advanced hacking techniques, the the Lazarus Group managed to steal $81 million from the Central Bank of Bangladesh. They manipulated the bank's systems and sent fraudulent messages to the New York Federal Reserve, leading to a massive transfer of funds. Although some money was recovered, much of it disappeared into the dark web, likely laundered and used to fund the North Korean regime. In addition to these high-profile attacks, the group is also known for launching ransomware attacks against businesses and organizations worldwide. One of the most significant was the WannaCry ransomware attack in 2017, which infected hundreds of thousands thousands of computers across the globe. This attack paralyzed hospitals, businesses, and government agencies, demanding ransoms in Bitcoin, a form of cryptocurrency that's hard to trace. These operations illustrate not just the technical skills of the Lazarus Group, but also the way North Korea leverages cybercrime to sustain its economy, even in the face of global sanctions. By operating in the shadows of the dark web, they can maintain their funding while remaining elusive to international authorities. Cryptocurrency plays a crucial role in North Korea's strategy for bypassing sanctions and funding its operations. Unlike traditional currencies, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin provide a level of anonymity that makes them attractive for criminals. Transactions are recorded on a public ledger, but the identities behind them can be hard to trace. This is where the Lazarus Group capitalizes on the technology. North Korean hackers often target cryptocurrency exchanges to steal digital assets. For example, in 
recent years, they have hacked exchanges to swipe millions of dollars in cryptocurrencies. Once they have these stolen funds, they quickly move them through a series of transactions to obscure their origin. This process is known as money laundering, and it involves sending the funds through multiple wallets and exchanges, making it nearly impossible for authorities to track where the money ends up. But the Lazarus Group doesn't stop there. They also engage in schemes to manipulate cryptocurrency markets. One tactic involves creating fake ICOs, initial coin offerings, to lure investors, only to vanish once they've collected the funds. This allows them to generate revenue without any legitimate business activity, all while hiding behind the anonymity of the dark web. Additionally, the group has been known to use mixers, services that blend multiple transactions together to further conceal the trail of stolen funds. This blending process complicates the efforts of law enforcement trying to trace illicit activities back to North Korea. Through these sophisticated methods, the Lazarus Group not only enriches the North Korean regime, but also highlights the growing intersection of cybercrime and cryptocurrency. In this hidden world, where technology meets crime, North Korea has found a way to thrive despite international pressure and isolation. If you ever receive a phishing email or think about exploring the dark web, remember this. The Lazarus Group is out there, ready to empty your wallet. Stay safe online. If you want to keep your wallet safe, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel.